And we are here at Legoland today because we're going to see Santa. This is a review of the Christmas at Legoland Windsor Bricktacular. Going to keep this one pretty raw so you can see the genuine reactions of the kids and how much they're enjoying it. The main entrance is decked out in Christmas trees and lights. There are a number of Christmas themed activities which we'll be covering in this video. First up is a visit to see Santa Claus through the Enchanted Forest, which you have to pre-book in advance. First you have to get through an elaborate tree maze to get to the elves. Now Tinsel is going to be taking you through the forest for the Christmas to so follow through. Would you ready to come on through you guys? I need so much help getting through the maze. So do you think you can help Tinsel the elves to get through the maze? Through the trees? No, no! no. Oh, 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 oh. I've got attached to the trees! Tinsel's been attached! <laughs> That's exactly why we don't go through the trees, isn't it? Okay, just try it this way. That's where the mince pies are made. We don't want to go that way. Yeah, we do! Unless you... I like vegan things. We found the right place. Okay, guys. It's good. <laughs> You've been very kind and very loving. You've been good at school, is this right? Now shall we see if we can magically make a present of it? I'd like you all to close your eyes tight. <coughs> oh, goodness me, look at that. Well, that one's for you, and that one's for you. Drive everyone home. There is also a building activity at the elves' workshop, and some postcards to post to Santa at the North Pole. Once the kids are done building, they can place their Christmas themed items on or around the Christmas tree. And sometimes they just keep building. Over at Miniland is a scavenger hunt, which disappointingly is limited to the UK buildings, unlike the Halloween scavenger hunt which pretty much covered the whole of Miniland. As it gets dark early, the park is quite impressive with all the decorative lights. It gives it a really different feel from the summer days when it never gets dark. There are numerous Christmas themed displays across the park. Oh, 
there is a Mrs. Christmas toy shop. Initially we thought this was going to be one of those retail opportunities where the kids work you over to try to get something. But it actually turned out to be another building experience. The slots for this are strictly every half an hour and the kids get to keep their builds. Some of the park rides are closed while quite a number are open. The queue times are also incredibly short. Haunted House notoriously has long queue times, but as you can see here, they're struggling to even fill the ride. Naturally, your water based rides like Fire Academy, Viking Splash, Boats, Duplo Water Park, etc., are all closed. Overall, today, the kids really enjoyed themselves. We also lucked out a little bit with the weather, with mostly blue skies and 8 degrees. There were some occasional showers, but nothing that made it cold and miserable. It's also great and unique to see the park under decorative lights like this. There are a variety of Christmas themed activities which the kids really enjoyed. The light crowds also meant you were able to walk onto quite a number of rides as well and enjoy those. I get that the mini land scavenger hunt was a lot of builds but it would have been nice if it was a bit more extensive so definitely worthwhile checking out and they're running it post Christmas too. Merry Christmas! Thank you for watching our video. Like, share and subscribe. Here are some other videos you might enjoy. Happy building until next time when we talk about all things Lego.